Hi, and thanks for watching. My name is Jimmy Simmons, one of three senior design consultants for IWA. I'm going to walk you through a stunning wine room project recently completed. The project is located in Ohio, and the client was building a new contemporary residence with an enclosed glass wine room as a focal feature. The room was already under construction, and the builder had installed supply and returns on the floor. Through consultation with the client and his builder, we collected all the data needed to perform a thermal load on the room. Our engineer calculated the box load to be 7,632 BTUH. With this information combined with filled conditions, we determined a Seller Pro AH6500 SCV was ideal. Let's take a look at the system for this project. As you can see, we're on the Seller Pro website, specifically the landing page for the AH6500 SCV. AH stands for Air Handler, 6500 is the model. SCV is self-contained vertical. Uh, it's a fully charged plug-and-play system and uh, what I'll do is I'll shoot another video in the future and we'll go into great detail about these systems. After further conversation with the client my design objective was a contemporary muted chrome finish clean lines with a wow factor with the aesthetics more important than bottle capacity. To match the aesthetic and budget guidelines given by the client we opted for vintage view label forward racking in a brushed aluminum finish. Now let's take a look at some pictures of the room being constructed. This particular view shows the room boxed and framed awaiting double pane thermal glass to be installed. The next view is going to show us uh, the glass installed and the door in the process of being hung. And the next view, this is uh, on the inside of the wine room looking up at some of the uh, detailed millwork involved. And one more view uh, looking through the side of the wine room from the wet bar area you can see that it's a nice view it actually goes all the way through uh, through the glass wall of the front of the home to a view of the front of the house so now let's take a look at the actual design that we did a 2D uh, CAD rendering what we have here is what's called a plan view and you have three elevations that are applied to this project Elevation C, which is the side wall, Elevation A, which is the back wall of the wine room, and Elevation B, which is also a side wall. This particular elevation is the wall closest to the front of the home. So what we did is we did a freestanding self-supporting rack, three deep on the inside facing towards the center of the wine room for maximum storage, which we also did over on this side, Elevation C. Again, both elevations we also did single deep facing the glass. This is very easy for the client to get to and manage. Uh, it also has a very nice aesthetic to it when you're outside the wine room looking in, be it from the wet bar or from outside the home. The back wall elevation, as you can see, this elevation is this back wall. We did three deep on the wall, which is indicated in the plan view three deep, a presentation row, and again three deep, maximizing the bottle capacity. Another feature that we added was some magnum racking to the top left hand portion of the back wall. Uh, project total bottle capacity 789 bottles with a total of 14 magnums. Now my favorite feature and the client's favorite feature actually of this wine room is the elevation C because the view to this room from the wet bar off this section here which you can't see just in the mind's eye if you're looking into the wine room you see this elevation here is a view looking into the wine room this connection point and this connection point allowed the client to include tabletop material that was used in the wet bar so what that does is it ties the overall aesthetic of the home into the wine room uh, which gives a really nice feel and flow Okay, so let's move to some progress and finished room pictures. Well, what we have here is a picture of the wine room being installed, the racks that is, uh, which you can see on the floor. These are the presentation racks. This is the side wall facing the glass wall of the front of the home. Again, you've got the three deep facing inside the wine room with single deep facing the glass wall. Another nice feature that the client decided to do 
uh, after a little more con consultation, uh, was go ahead and paint the back wall of the wine room red. Uh, that is a main color throughout the home and is also the color of the tabletop material for the other side wall. Again, tying the overall decor together. And here's another progress shot. Uh, this appears, it shows the side wall again facing the, the glass wall of the home. That's completed in place. Again, these are free standing self-supporting racks. They don't require to be attached to the wall or attached to the floor or the ceiling. Again, self-supporting. Uh, you can tell slightly here, this is the side wall facing the wet bar. This is actually the connection point for the tabletop material. So what would happen is this material would support decanters, uh, a magnum or a three liter, even a piece of art, or if the client wanted, uh, they could literally rotate different things in and out based on seasons, uh, meaning flower arrangements if it's fall or spring or summer and so forth. Uh, another view uh, from outside the wine room looking in, top left hand corner, you can see a lot of progress going on. Wine's actually already in the racking. And you can see some lighting here stubbed out for LED lighting that's going to be going in. It's going to rake the front of the wine racks, giving a, a very nice aesthetic. And another shot, uh, this one is more from the wet bar area looking into the wine room. Again, this is the half high rack. Uh, connection point and connection point. Unfortunately, we don't have a picture of it, uh, but that is where that tabletop material is going to be going. Uh, again, a very nice aesthetic. And final picture. Wine room's completed, and the client absolutely loves the project and, and the end results. Uh, thanks again for watching. If you're considering doing a wine storage project, please allow me to offer a design bid for consideration. You can start the process by clicking the contact button located on our website. Simply ask for me by name in the comment field. Until next time, cheers.